Right, I've selected my next little challenge to myself and I'm going to be painting it in this bottom right corner. This is the part of the image that I selected and this is actually pretty close to the one I've selected in the original painting over there. It's just slightly turned to the side so there's a little bit more sky. I do like this motion and movement there so before i start let's just quickly draw in just these basic shapes so that we get an idea of placement there's a dark area there and then this one comes in around about there and we have this section here so i like the way that it sort of gives me a y shape to play with and this time round, I'm just going to strategize a little bit because like last time I forgot to take out enough white paint. In my strategy, I think I'm going to again, this worked out for me to do a little bit of underpainting. So I'm going to again create a beautiful uh, light turquoise background. And I must also make sure that I have enough ochre and yellow as a base for that section and that everything else is uh, ready to roll for this exercise. Again, I'm going to be using the same square brush and limit myself to um, just this one tool because I really want to experience this whole challenge as we jump into this abstraction. So again, I am ready to roll. I'm gonna set my timer on 15 minutes and then I'm gonna see what we can create here. Here we go. Again, I'm going to make a lighter teal background and I'm going to brush this downwards because I want every brush stroke to count and I see a nice painterly background so I'm not too worried if I go over my lines there because this needs to blend into the background anyway so that I have a bit more of a painterly finish and I'm also not bothering to mix my paints entirely. I'm mixing it on the palette and I'm mixing it on the canvas, uh, loosely mixing it so that we have a bit of a stripey effect. And I think that is going to be nice. So the next thing I want to bring in is some of this blues. Now remember phthalo blue is very potent so I'm going to activate it here on my palette. My, my paint is a lot thinner and I'm gonna think I'm gonna add a little bit of my turquoise in there and a little bit of my purple funny enough yes that looks more accurate so there's a smear a smear of that and I'm gonna jump in with my fingers and blend a little bit you can see how tacky this paper is it doesn't even allow me to blend that's good. Sometimes the restrictions of what we work with is um, what can create beautiful art. So I see a bit of that there. I'm going to rinse off. The next thing I'm going to add is these magenta little zones. Also little smears. Oh, I'm splashing away, giving my brush a thorough rinse. Oops, and I just dismantled it it's okay right so the magenta I'm gonna just work here and bring some of the white in so it's a little bit more pastely and I see here uh, almost like a flower shape I'm gonna use the corner of my brush just to soften this a little bit like that and I 
see some painterly moments here and here coming down in this corner like that let's blend that in a little bit let's add it up there for interest we're abstracting yes Now I'm going to switch to my yellow. I'm not even going to bother to take off my magenta. I'm just going to brush this in as an underpainting. So I'm working a little bit drier this time, but very painterly. I need some yellow over in this zone as well that I keep this shape that I see and now that is a bit of a foundation now I can switch to my orange and I can begin to in pasto begin to play with some of the colors that I see on here and here we have a few brush marks let's line let's highlight that a little bit so I can cross this over here into that Blend that a little bit. <laughs> Very lightly brushing allows me to have some blending zones because I'm not pressing too hard, so it's almost like a, a dry brush. So it just gives me a little bit of blending because I don't want everything to be so thick. Let's go to some of the reds, but the red is not so vibrant everywhere. So I'm going to add a bit of black and create a, um, a shade of my red with some black because we do want a little bit of drama. We want a little bit of contrast. Here is also an interesting zone. So just gently brush that in. it helps us to take some of the paint off and just oopsie I'm gonna use my wet mark here I did say a rag is allowed right <laughs> just loosen some of that I'm starting to fuss there so that's when I now must move on let's put some of that here things over here and let's jump to another color I see some of these greens over here and now I notice there's a yellowness there right That's, you see as you start to work through a painting section by section then you start to notice things that you didn't observe the first time and that is where it gets exciting Just a little bit more yellow in there in there i'm gonna now play with pure yellow there it looks like a, a line yes it connects with that so let's give it a bit of a smear there Build some of this bright yellow up here again. Blend some of that away. That looks a bit better. Let's bring in some yellow ochre up here. And I'm just removing some paint so I can blend. A little bit here that's nice and some of that yellow ochre up here as well now I'm seeing some lighter areas here that I just quickly wanna bring in a lot more oops I need to clean my brush because I'm creating light the minute you see that you are starting to just make everything yellow or everything is starting to get brown 
that's when you know it is time to clean your brush light blue here I need to just get this blue back here because this is too I like to talk to myself um, while I'm painting. It's like I'm giving my left brain something to do to keep it busy so that the right brain can be in charge. So that's why sometimes I forget what I'm trying to say because that's not the right brain's job to um, use language so much. Um, it's the left brain's job. So then something needs to switch on. <laughs> Just gonna use some magenta here. I'm just bring that a little bit. Some here as well. Oops. I probably did it again. Oops, I did it again. I played with my brush. <laughs> These are dogs on here that I also want to capture. Um, before my time runs out for a little bit of contrast Over here I'm just using my little rag you can see how dirty it is already because there's just too much color on me now let's rinse that off a little bit I think I need a fresh one because that's already soaked with water that's better so that we can blend here a little bit and again i'm going to blend in the yellow ochre and blend that back that's interesting need some here as well now i need a dark color before my time runs out but not that dog. So it's a shape like that, and then it comes in a like triangle. I'm going to rinse my brush really well. And then just bring some of that out. We have a whole art class outside. <laughs> for forgive the neighborhood peanut gallery.
but it's up the spice really quickly even though it's transparent a little bit bigger to me and now I can come in with some brighter yellow of greens put it there that feels nice I feel this uh, some green in this area necessary as well and last but not least I just wanted to add some moments here that would remind me of flowers hanging down or something sorry for all the noises here in my studio I hear my mumbling I'm getting some fruit here feels great. I'm happy. I'm just going to stop. My time is not even finished yet. And that is an interesting thing to observe because there's our time. It, You just get into that 15 minute zone and you start to have a bit more fun and you free up yourself. You can already see comparatively to my first exercise, my second exercise, my third exercise, how you are progressing and you are developing your skills and observing and strategizing and mixing color so that you can find or paint what create on your canvas what you are seeing on the little square so this exercise is so dynamic and it's something that you can repeat and do often in order to loosen up and just get into the zone so this last section i'm going to um, do on my own and then when I continue this class in abstraction, you will be able to see the final um, little square. I'm also going to use 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to do this section actually in a live class on Monday. Um, so when we return to this uh, online class, you will see me have completed that one. And I will show you the end result of these four exercises. And then I will take you into the following journey, the next step in our process. So I will see you guys at a canvas real soon. Remember to take photographs and share it with me. I'll see you guys again. Bye bye for now.